Yes. Tukifanya kazi ya Mungu, my is my place. Yes. Uliniacha wapi? Na robi tu. Nikihaso. Hallelujah. I hope you may not remember. Are you remembering me? You can't. I can. You can. Yeah, you used to give give the barracks, Kenyatta barracks. With uh, yeah, yeah. Alikuwa ananipigia simu asubuhi ukiwa chishoro ni salimiani kwa sababu nilikuwa captain kama wewe. Lakini sikuizi it's squeezy kwa nini unipigie simu? Hallelujah. Amen. Um I I don't know. I'm grateful to the Lord. I have greetings from the Nairobi from my bishop Joel Waweru who knows that I'm here today and uh, as I we keep on talking I keep on calling him to uh, let him know that I'm doing well because I'm his spiritual son so you need to know how his spiritual son is doing in America so I have to inform him that is my obligation as a as a servant of God and whenever we talk he always tell me ukienda jumapili hiyo ingine salimiana mume salimika amen my dear wife and children we also talk every day um, and they tell me that whenever you go please greet the servants of the lord amen amen receive zot just want to introduce to you a covenant sister who is here with me, with me. Uh, helen please whenever you are helen yes this is helen monia um, we have ministered together with Helen for many years. She is a missioner and uh, a preacher of the word of God. And a daughter to my mentor, the Reverend Bernard Mwania, who was my ruler dean when I started the ministry. So I honor you for coming from wherever you are coming from, to come and be with me today. And uh, just keep me in company. At least on I called you in a Helen in Thank you so much. Mchungaji, umeona Helen yule mmekuwa mkiongea na yeye? Ndiye huyu. Tafuta pahali hapo. Unitafuta pahali hapo kwa sababu ako hapa, ako hapa hapa. Mtafute. Asante sana. Thank you Helen for coming. Thank you so much. Uh, we are here today to give thanks to the Lord. Um well, did I say my name? Oh, but they were said, who remembers? Inani anakubuka majina? I can hear so many things. Oh, you are living there. Kulikuwa mwa Kenya. Kulikuwa mwa Kenya pande hii. Yes, my names are Samuel Mwangi Dufi. Uh, and I'm going to say is not the Dumbi, it's Dufe because B in Kikuyu replaces F, okay? Fafa, not Baba, okay? So that B is pronounced as F, okay? So you pronounce this as Dufe. Now that I is not A, it is A, okay? Yeah, I'm going to classroom. A, E, E, O, U, A, O. Okay? Kiku you have seven vowels, not five. Okay? Pali ambao hawajatoka huko. Ngaji kai. Sisi tuko na saba. Nyinyi muko na tano. Yes. Good. Thank you. Uh, so see my former vicar. He ministered to a parish where I come from, home. So he used to be the vicar of my mom. And uh, Dr. thank you so much for coming. I was preaching in church last Sunday. So I'm grateful to see you once again here. Toketa ni doake. Tumekuja kwa nini? Ku abudu mungu. Sindiyo? Na kuomba mungu. Na kuketi chini atuzungumzie. Bwana asifuye sana. Si tumeomba. Tumeabudu. Sasa tuko kipindi cha? Kusikiza. Kutoka kwa nani? Kwa mungu. Na siku ya ya leo ni siku maalum kwa sababu ni siku ambao tunatunza mhubiri wetu ama mchungaji wetu kwetu tunamuita vika kwa hivyo mkisikia mimi nikiongea juu ya vika is the same with the rector okay 
mmoja ilitoka UK jina ikatoka America na kwa sababu tuko America tunatumia amen. amen na kuna pale mlini confuse wakati wa holy communion ila tunasemanga let him be praised in Africa sasa nyinyi mlisema America nami nilikuwa na wasemi Africa kwa sababu hiyo ndio nimezoea sasa nikasikia wengine wanasema hata nyinyi mnasema amen. amen na yangu ilikuwa amen. yes So nikachanganyika hapo sasa kitabu niwafuate nikakuwa mumeenda mbio. So one is coming from UK and the other one is coming from America. Ta is American, the UK is the vicar of the parish. Bwana asifiwe sana. So I I will call him the vicar, okay? Yes. The one I'm used to because I don't know to mess up myself with saying something I may not be able to know. So we are here to honor the man of God. Amen. Amen. We are here to appreciate the work that God has been doing through the man of God, isn't it? Yes. We are here to thank God for his life. Amen? Amen. And I want to share briefly the reason why we should or I mean not uh, we'll start by the work of a of a vicar or a pastor or a bishop or an apostle because we are all the same. Whether a bishop, you are the vicar, you are the reverend, you are the pastor or whatever name you are called, you are in the service of the Lord. Amen. We, I want to share briefly the work of uh, the man of God. Then I will do the reason why we should honor the man of God. And that day I will be talking the benefits of honoring the man of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. There is this question that I've been grappling with and most people come to my office or when we meet or when we are having just a social time they will ask me what do you do? on day to day basis nafanyanga kazi gani kwa sababu yeye ananiona tuko sunday masaa mawili kwa ibada sasa nashangaa from monday to saturday unafanyanga kazi gani kwa hiyo hivyo naonanga wachungaji hana kazi kutoka monday mpaka na wasa nashindwa ni mwana anataka nimueleze hii kazi unayofanya ni nini kwa sababu haioneka tunaonekananga jumapili pekeyake but let me tell you the work of the shepherd ni kazi ambao ni full time it is not 8 hours it is not 12 hours it is 24 7 i am not hata nikiwa hapa watu wangu ninawahudumia bwana asifiwe sana i'm on leave officially i'm on leave officially but i'm still serving my people I'm I'm receiving calls and I'm receiving messages because people want my assistance and my advice in some areas. So the work of a pastor is a full-time work. Kazi ya uchungaji ni kazi ambayo labda haiweza pimika na maybe the production maybe if you are a bank manager you will be able to you know to tell at the end of the month this is the profit that we have made. But kazi ya uchungaji labda haitaweza pimika na hiyo kipimo. If you are in a production line, you may be able to tell us, to tell us that this year our production has increased by this percentage. Maybe the work of mchungaji hawezi pimika hivyo. But I want to tell you it is a heavy duty. Bwana asifiwe sana. And especially nowadays, I was telling my people um, that I don't know what to do because I'm burning out and people may look at me and ask me why are you burning out and you only come here on Sunday I don't go there on Sunday I'm full time minister I have an office to learn let me tell you these brothers and sisters when a member of my church is believed I become part and parcel of that believement because the first person to be called is who mchungaji. Tuko pamoja? Kwanza tuanzie hapo. Tuanzie wapi? Hapo. Hapo. Unapofifiwa mtu wa kwanza kujulisha ni nani? Sometimes saa nane ya usiku ninapigwa simu naambiwa we have lost our parent. I have lost my dear husband. I have lost my dear wife saa nane ya usiku and I want you here. You don't even question. You take off and go. And be with that family. And you be with that family until you find that they have now found peace and they can be able to settle we are not like psychologists 
who normally take the problems when afar they don't internalize them they will just share your problems and it is your problem to solve those problems you have only shared with them that is the work of a psychologist they don't feel with you but for me i feel with you why because this is not an ordinary person this is a member of my church this is a treasure of my church this is a faithful member of my church and he has lost a parent so when he is you know mourning i'm mourning with him or her god has secured sana and the peace of pain will be left in me are we together let imagine every week i will receive more four or five times those kind of calls how many pains do i have five or four, four of them with me things that i have to tackle and to deal with them and i don't have anybody you for you you called me who am i got to call nalilia wa nani mungu you can see the burden i'm talking about you know you are family you have issues with your family mchungaji and you want to have answers from mchungaji when you go to psychologist do you see share your problems and now they ask you so what how are you going to deal with your problems and you go home with your problems but for me i must work and pray with you and walk with you that journey until you have solved your problem so your problem becomes my problem sijui kama mnaniyelewa hapa ni naenda naelekea okay you people who are here you want to go home you call mchungaji nataka kwenda nyumbani niombe niombe mchungaji anakuombea anaandamana na wewe kwa ndege hata kama hayuko anaandamana naye mpaka ufike Nairobi na anzu uanze safari ya kurudi wapi hapa that is the work of mchunga mchungaji i'm talking of so many things that happen in our lives that needs uh, somebody else to help us and the only way we can do that is a day like today that we can come and show our appreciation to the great work that this man of god has been doing amen bona sifuya sana somebody asked who is the pastor of a pastor do you have you ever thought about that who is my pastor a uh, 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 pastor who is your pastor so there god yes sir and you you are human being 100% you are not an angel you are not living in heaven you are living in this world like you are sister here miss mashari yes we were together last sunday yes you are just the same but miss masharia expect you to behave like you are in heaven but you are still in this world you call it a problem and you have you also have you are oh, exactly that is the work of njungaji and i'm saying brothers and sisters in the lord that the only thing we can do to this man of god today is just to appreciate what he has been doing because of the work Lord that he has been doing. You know, I've been with him for a whole week. Uh, and I was I'm, I'm amazed because when we are driving I can't drive and no, be working. He's driving, he is on his phone, he is tackling issues over the phone. I tell you, it's a mystery. You know, he is working like you whatever you work, but he's also working in this church. we need to appreciate him we need to think about it we we need just to come and say god thank you for this gift that you have given unto us in the name of pastor elias because if it were not for him maybe you would not be this, the way we are okay i've i've gone several places can't say of him the, the whole week no but the party the units na mtoto wake na mchungaji kama hakuwe hakukuweko anasikia mchungaji hakuku the other day somewhere else another day somewhere else another day somewhere else you know every moment is working that is the work of mchungaji kwa hivyo wewe unaenda kuuliza mchungaji unafanyanga nini nimekueleza si kazi tu hivi ya kuja kutayarisha ujumbe na inaishi hapo we have so many things to do and please be praying for us be praying for us you know i normally tell my the, my congregation when i go home 
that famous lady, Sarah Kay, she doesn't know a pastor that I'm a pastor to her. I'm a husband. Na naingia tu kwa nyumba wakati nimehumbiri yote. Na kufika tu kwa nyumba naambiwa wapi shukari. Hiyo ndio greetings. Shukari kwa Ni nini nilikuwa nimekwambia? Kwani ulisahau vile vitu nilikuwa nimekwambia because I'm not a pastor to I'm a husband. Am I? Do I have do I have somebody to go and tell her, you know today, you know Sarah amenibigida. Sina Nina nyamazi? Nyamazi anaweza nipata mchungaji mwenzangu anambie hapa sasa mambo sio mazuri. So we need as a congregation to allow God also to use us to be the pastor of the pastor. Bwana asifiwe sana. To allow God to be the pastor of when he calls you let you be there. Bwana asifiwe sana. I said Helen was a, is, a, is a daughter of a mchungaji late. Helen. Yes. Mtugate riesha leta go mwani ali. Ni mwa mwana ga mtugate rika na fafa ali. Acha tuna ko ene fafa. Ni mwa da duk school fees. Muka muira. Mwa igato. Muka kora muka mukora. Dale mtugate riko le nyue. Ko denda kugate. Idhiwe tole yatu. That's what I want to put forward to you people. And that is the work of a mchungaji. After knowing that work of mchungaji the second level of blessing the man of God. We have a story here found in the book of Genesis chapter number 18 and also chapter number 15. Is it 15? 14. Chapter number 14. Two incidences of a man known as Abraham. By that time he was known as Abraham. The first chapter 14. The Bible says that he heard that his cousin Lot has been kidnapped and has been taken because there was war where he was living. That is Sodom and Gomorrah. And other kings, five of them joined together and came and fought the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah. And they looted everything, including the people themselves and their possession and their children and everything. So what happened? Um, Abraham organized himself. He took 318 men to go and rescue his cousin Lut. And God found favor in him and he was able to capture and rescue his uh, cousin Lut. And when he was coming from that rescue, he found or met a man of God by the name of Melchizedek. The Bible says he was a priest in God's own way. And when Abraham saw the man of God, you know, the man of God gave blood to Abraham and Abraham gave a tenth, a tithe of everything that he had. You know, he gave a tenth of everything that he had. It doesn't matter how the situation was at that particular time. Remember he is coming from a war, a battle. And maybe he has lost quite a number of things. But he counted and said, God, you have blessed me. And I have gotten a chance to meet with a man of God. We are not told whether he was his priest. But despite that, Abraham blessed the man of God. And that was the beginning of Abraham's blessings. The second incident is now found in the book of uh, Genesis chapter number 18. The Bible says he was lasting at the cool of the day. And he saw three men walking. He doesn't know these men at all. He, they are just passerbyers. And because he had a heart of blessing people, Abraham woke up. He invited them to have a meal with them. Bonus, Wesana. And when he blessed this Amen. They were blessing God. He was blessing God in the uh, name of the three men. Hallelujah. So Abraham was very quick. He went to Salah and told him, can you prepare a good blood? The Bible says it was from the finest the finest flower that was there. 
Tengenezea hawa wageni wanapita hapana. He said from the finest. Yeah. And my, mind you, he did not know this man. He never knew that he is entertaining angels. He never knew that he was ready. And immediately he also went to his, you know, shed and said, I'm going to get the finest calf. The one that is the fattest and give to these men who are passing by. Yes, and as they were now chatting and uh, as they were waiting for the meal, you know, the angel of the Lord refused himself or they refused themselves to Abraham and made a promise, a promise that Abraham and Sarah were waiting for many, many years. They had passed. They were looking for a son. They were looking for a baby. But they had none in that particular time. Because of the generosity of Abraham, Abraham was blessed with a son. And the word of God says that the Lord, the age of the Lord said that a time like this, next year, you shall have a son. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister, if you bless this man of God today, a time like this next year, something ha will happen in your life. Amen. You have been looking for those papers. Amen. God has given you an opportunity today Amen. to open that door that has been blocked for many, many years by anointing or by serving or by blessing the man of God. After realizing what he has been doing in this church, Amen. Abraham was blessed. And he was given a son according to the word of God. It doesn't matter the age he was. The Bible says he was about 90 and Sarah was about 70. And actually when Sarah had this male conversing at the tent there, he just looked at herself and said, oh my, these, these guys are crazy. These, these men are crazy. Will I even have the pressure? Uh, can I? I have gone past that. I cannot have the you know, pressure of my husband. And they are saying, I'm going to have a child. And no. The, the men of God said, is there anything impossible before the eyes of God? No. Not at all. There's that problem that you have been going through. There's that issue that you have come to an end of it. And you are saying, I'm giving up. I want to tell you this afternoon that there is nothing impossible before the eyes of God. Abraham bless the servant of God. And God did a miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. Now it's a golden opportunity that we have all of us here this day as we bless the man of God. Because we will not see God coming. We won't. But he comes in the name of these servants that are seated here to bless us, to pray for us, to intercede for us, to walk with us some difficult journeys. You know, some of these men here, I hear stories because we hear stories. Some of them here, they even give you letters before even they know you. And they say that they know you for you to stay another few days in this country, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. They do that. Amen. Because they want you to be in this country. And they are working for God. They are agents of God. Amen. God uses them to write that letter and you get your extension without knowing you. God is saying today, we have an opportunity to bless this man of God. And, and as you read that story, as they ate and they were satisfied and they relaxed, they were on their journey to go and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And as they were walking, they questioned themselves and said, can we, really, can we hide what we are going to do to this man of God, to this man who has welcomed us? They had no intention to tell Abraham. Actually, they had no instruction from God that you are going to tell Abraham what you are going to do. But after the generosity of Abraham, and through that, Abraham interceded for the city of God, Sodom and Gomorrah because he had a relationship there in the name of Lord. Remember chapter number 14? He worked so hard to rescue his cousin. Now, the city is going to be destroyed. And his cousin is there. And Abraham interceded and interceded until, you know, the Jew said, yes, for the sake, for your sake, you are going to rescue your cousin. 
the rest of the city was destroyed. The benefit of uh, ministering or uh, honoring the man of God. Two things. We have heard the story that Abraham was blessed and was given a son. Tonight, God is going to bless you. He is going to bless me as we bless the man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul talking to the Corinthians. He's talking about that person who has who gives generously. If you give generously, you also live generously. And so whatever you sow is going to come. The book of Luke chapter number six and verse that is says, Give and shall be given unto you. Okay? Give and shall be given unto you. Same measure. Using the same measure that you have given. But the difference between the measure you give and God is saying that this measure will be shaken. It will be blessed. And you will be learning over. So, you use one dollar. You give one dollar. What is going to give you? One dollar. But his will be shaken. So maybe they will be added. There will be another place to put one dollar. So there will be two. two. They will be shaken. You know, unasuka shuka mpaka ina tingizika tu, ina endrea kutini, ina ongezo wa endora igina bidi. And the one, the, the, the one that I love most is the overflowing. Because the overflows, you may not be able to measure. Hallelujah. So you may find, you give one dollar, God is uh, no, surprising you with a hundred dollars. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. Give and it shall be given you. Honor the man of God tonight. And he's going, God is going to honor you a hundredfold. Because God is not a liar. He keeps his word. God will always keep his word. If we have said that he's going to bless you, he's going to bless you. Hallelujah. We are here this day. To come and honor the man of God. There are so many benefits of honoring the man of God. And we are, here, we are not here just to like, you know, con people the way people does in the word of God. No, no, no. That's wrong. We are saying, you know, we are not saying, there's a time I saw, I, I think I was in this nation, that uh, there are people who are putting a seed in a car. No, no. For you to get that car. No, no. He is saying, do the right thing. That's so. Buenas, sana. It is what you have purpose to honor the man of God. And I'm promising you, there will be blessing. Amen? Amen? So let us be generous in giving this day. As we honor the man of God who has been working for us. Who has been with us. And has been a man of people in this nation. If he is not a man of people, you could, you could not have seen people like the Archbishop here. No. Yes, I, I was able to visit a bishop, courtesy of him. Yeah, and I bless the Lord because of you, a bishop. Yeah. My apostle, yes. I'm so humbled. My bishop, I'm so much humbled. And the rest of men of God who are here, I'm so much humbled. All this has happened, courtesy of, and we are saying this is the day that we are going to bless the Lord for our lecture, for our vicar. Are we ready to, to bless the Lord? Yes. As you bless him, you are blessing the mighty God. And one thing I want to promise you, that you are not going to lack because of blessing the man of God. That's true. You are not going to lack because as I quote that scripture, give and it shall be given unto you. Same measure, shaken, pressed, and overflowing. I like that portion of overflowing because I know what God is who overflow for me. It will be marvelous in, my, in his sight. You know, I've been in the ministry for many years, several years. Well, maybe, I, I don't know, I don't know. But if I, I can brag, I may be the oldest person. I don't know how many years you have been in the ministry. But I think I may be the oldest, being in the ministry for about 35 years. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah bish, uh, Bishop, 35 years. Am I, yeah, you older than you, some a bit? Together, almost the same. Yes. And I've seen the faithfulness of the Lord. 
gamwe hoka ni ndu hodu mona gamwe ni kile kyo ndagutegera ni ndu hodu mona gutitukaga kaya tada dimete bwana asifiwe sana ah ino kaya kokegia na mugegere mu tari utari wonekana bwana asifiwe sana there was a time i was struggling to get a plot i had to go to to the bank to buy a plot to get money to buy a plot and i prayed god god I want this part. Na kulia dada gaga ya kijira ona ditaka ukuona. Biete fea giko hoya besha. When I want to borrow money, the bank manager told, told me, you don't need to buy to, to borrow money from me because I will charge you with interest. This company, this bank is selling plots in Loiro. Okay? The same price of the amount of money that you are selling and it's going to give you three years to buy that plot. So if it is 400, you're going to pay 400. If I give you 400 to go and look for a plot, I will charge you the interest. Amen. The next miracle was, and by the way, if you talk to one of my cashiers here, that plot is going to go down. If they accept to buy for you, not will not be 450, it will be 200. Wow. Okay? Amen. Yes. It went down 200. You know, and I told him, no, why should I look for a cashier here? My brother works with you guys in Kiabu. The plot that I wanted to buy was 30 by 70. The one that I was getting was 100 by 100. Wow. 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 Amen. I went straight to Kiabu and talked with my brother and told me, I have no interest in buying there. I can give a bank, I can transfer 20,000. I can give you a plot. I can <laughs> I mean, what were the Urizanga? Who could because they cannot afford. They can't. Now it's about over a part of million. Amen. Amen. Naka huko. Kwa hivi yo, si muchache. Na mungu wa Amen. Amen. So many stories. I, I, I got, I, I was invited to, I admitted to go to University of Natal where I and my brother schooled. Although different times, over 10 years different, the University of Natal. I did a fundraiser, I raised only 100,000. God told me, you know, I, I don't want to go that route, mm. fundraising and the rest. Mm. I'm uh-huh. going to surprise you. That's true. Wow. I tried. I even attempted to sell the land that my father had given me with a lot of pain. Nilipoenda kukuta mzee nimwambia tii kashaba lazima niende nikasome karibu aliye machozi but finally akakubali lakini Mungu akasema hata sio hiyo jia nataka i have my own ways wow bwana asifiwe sana yeah. i went to south africa with only 50000 in my pocket after paying the air ticket with my family but you know what after two weeks i got a scholarship from the same same university amen Hallelujah. Wow. My school fees was paid in full. And I had a subsidy of 10,000. Equivalent to Kenya sharing 10,000. In Kenya, my salary was 80,000. Sasa ni nasoma masomo ya buli. Na mshahara wa shiringi ya rufukumi. Masomo ilikuwa tamu. <laughs> I mean, masomo ilikuwa tamu. Hii unasoma na unalipo. Sijawai yona hiyo. Unasoma na unafanya nini? Another miracle. As we were, had gone there, my wife had called some curious, you know, the Kenyan way. And he kind of one of the uh, big, soup, I mean, uh, what do you call them? The mall, Netbank Plaza, you remember. And, and she was walking and selling those curious. The manager came out and said, Oh, dear, they are beautiful. Where are they coming from? Where are you selling? At. And she said, They are coming from Kenya, but I don't have any place to sell the corridor. I've given you this uh-huh. free of charge, and that is your store to keep here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you know, when we were coming back, when I finished my college, a month before I finished, we got a letter from the that um, neighbor plaza that our time we, we were given only one month to go. They don't want us there. Kubuka ni mwezi moja ni yenda Do I need that place? No, I don't need it. And that's why I used to get my daily bread. The 10,000 will pay my house, and the daily bread is coming from there. Curious. 
mzungu akija hivi anaanza kuangalia ginyera mnasijua ginyera hivi anaziona ah hi they are beautiful how do you do them tunanunua 150 kenya ninamuzia 1500 hata wakati huo nafunga kazi na ile nyumbani ngiri mwana magana matano mudhanya kila hatu kimwogokea ginyera yatai you know a guy because god will never lie you will never challenge god i want to assure you tonight that you never challenge god bless the man of god and give it to god and he will do his portion in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen not my duty to add or to 